Hello viewers, I welcome you to another interesting tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can convert your JPEG logo to Vector file. So as you can see on my screen here, this is my JPEG file logo. Then this is the Vector logo. So this particular one, you can change the color to any one of your choice. So let's get the tutorial started. All right, viewers. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close this this folder. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to make a new document. I click on, I go to file, then click on new. The dialog box will pop up. Then at this place, this is where you type the name of your design. So convert. JPEG to Vector. All right. So once you are done with your setting, the color should be CNYK. Then the resolution of it should be 300. Once you are done with your setting, click on OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is that at the menu bar here, I'm going to change the page orientation to landscape. Good. So the next step to take is to go to your back to your menu bar. Click on this icon, import, or you press Ctrl I on your keyboard. So having done that, the next thing you have to do is to select your JPEG file. So this is the JPEG file I'm going to use for this design. Then once you select the file, then click on this import to, to import the file. All right, so this is my JPEG file. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to create a background color so the next thing to do is to go to your tools bar double click on the rectangle a page border will automatically update then come to the color palette here select any color of your choice in this tutorial i'm using uh, purple good so now we can see that the look the file is a jpeg logo file so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on the logo then go to your menu bar Select bitmaps, choose convert to bitmap. So at this point here, you select, make sure that this place is checked, this place is also checked, then your resolution should remain 300. Then once you are done, click on OK. All right, so our logo has been converted to J uh, bitmap. So the next thing you have to do is to go back to your menu bar. At this point here, come down below here, select detail logo. So another dialog box will pass up. Then what the next thing you have to do is to click on keep original size. Now this is where your logo will be converted to vector. So from the screen here, we can see now that at this place we have our JPEG original. Here, this is the vector file once you have different separate file like this the next thing you have to do is to click on ok so the next thing you have to do is to go back to your menu bar then click on on group having click on on group then go back to the logo then you begin to click on the logo so you can see now that we have it on a separate layers so let me color the first one then the second one also you can apply any any color of your choice once you have converted it to to the factor so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to press shift key on my keyboard then click on the each of the logo layer sorry so this is the first, la first layer, shift key, and click on the second one, click on the third one. It has been grouped into three. Oh, sorry, control Z. So shift key, then shift key, shift key, then I will now drag this one to one side. All right, so we can see now that, so now the next thing I'm going to do 
is to group this particular one so you can as well apply any color of your choice if you don't like black you can apply red orange and let me go back to black so here we have our original jpeg so this is our original jpeg then all you have to do to delete this one just highlight every select everything like this then press delete on your keyboard now this is our vector file press p to centralize the new vector logo so this is our jpeg logo original jpeg file then you can just press delete on the keyboard so this is the vector file that we are working on so you can change the color to whatever you like so i believe you learned one or two things in this video if you like my video don't forget to hit like button and also remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video in corel draw photoshop and adobe illustrator thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end see you soon bye